Hi there, welcome back to another edition of Scotus's Adventures in Minecraft. Wait, that's that's not Minecraft, that's sushi. That that is delicious, but that is not what we're doing today. This is Minecraft Uh Scotus Land. Well actually this is not Scotus Land, this is yet another seed. This is my first seed on this computer. This is not the first seed I've ever done, but it's very, very early on. Um but uh, today I'm going to be showing you a couple of my... Let me turn my waypoints off just so I don't give it all away. Alright. Uh, this is my f first uh, major build that I'm going to be showing you today. In uh, this seed that I call Prude. Um, it's a name of a world that I have been writing about. But, um, okay. Today I'm going to be showing you the most extensive builds in this world and this is a fort up here that I've done. This is nothing nothing too crazy extensive obviously but um, there's the uh, oh, I keep uh, oh no I did okay sweet alright this is the inside of the fort still all jerky but oh well it was just a place to stay when I wanted to get away from creepers and skeletons I, uh, it was pretty effective. I don't remember why these were big enough that the creepers could get through, skeletons could get through, but, uh, oh well. That was going to be a fire pit right here. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the nether and, uh, get a nether brick. Or, I forget what the material is called. The red stuff, you know what I mean. So I can have a fire pit there. That stuff burns for a long time, if not indefinitely. Here's one of my very first fields, gardens, whatever you want to call it, but uh, all wheat, and then I put pumpkins outside eventually. But uh, yeah, I built this up here. A really extensive uh, mine underneath that I was doing, uh, right there. Oh, and the uh, back entrance here goes all the way down to a dock where I have a boat. I actually have two boats. I keep building boats and forgetting to use them. So I have, I think, like six boats at different docks in this world. Because there's a lot of water and it's easier to get around. Alright. So this was the fort. I called it my castle fort. But part of my castle fort was the actual castle. And that's this over here. This is one of the longest builds that I've had. Um, it's really, just like my sandcastle, it's really just got a couple things inside. It's not built up with a whole lot of stuff inside, but, uh, alright. It's very fortified, because both of the uh, entrances are hidden. I mean, not completely hidden, but obviously a computer can figure it out. Computer uh, AI can figure it out, but um. All right, this is the inside of the castle. The uh, first floor. There is, you can go down here, and this is supposed to be like a drawbridge, but it doesn't draw a bridge. It doesn't open or anything. And then I actually, because you can you have to cook the cobblestone to look like natural stone. I actually had to do a lot of cooking, so I had the uh, four stove set up there in my crafting area. And I actually had a like a bed right here with surrounded by cobblestone so that I'd be safe when, before I figured out that if you go to bed, you're pretty much safe as long as there aren't anything near you. But, um, right, it's like my throne here and then a uh, dining room sort of area. Not very crazy, but uh, you can go out onto the wall, the first level of the wall. It's basically all keep. There isn't like a big, it wasn't like my sandcastle where I built it like a an official wall with a keep in the middle. But uh, this is like the defensive area here. Um, there's no way, because of the way that I cut everything out, there's no way for anything to get in this way. But it is a large build, so you'd never know when something's just going to automatically spawn inside here, which is a problem. But 
then you can go to the back. This goes all the way around, like that goes around to the front there. But then this is just, that was coal in here that I ended up digging out. But you can go up in here, and this is, I was going to make this into a, like a strategic room or something, like a strategy, a uh, war room or something. But uh, kind of useless in Minecraft when you're the only person playing. And then this is the top of the castle. Quite high up here. Uh, this is what took the longest, was clearing out. This was a hill. I mean, it was a mountain, but it was also a hill. So there was a lot of dirt on top. Like, if you look at... I'll, I'll show you the back. Um, we'll go out the back entrance here. But uh, if you look at the back, you can see exactly how the uh, hill sort of meshes in with the mountain. With the ground, rather, not the mountain. The old mountain. But this is the back of the castle. You can tell I planted these trees because they're completely the wrong kind of tree for this area. But yeah, th this was all dirt here and it sort of went down. And I had to clear all that dirt out so that I got straight down to the natural stone because I thought it looked really cool. Having part of it, the front part completely finished off ooh, and flat and then the front of it pretty natural looking. It was sort of what I was going for. See how it's a big square and you can even see the unfinished drawbridge like the, like the uh, bridge that completely is unfinished like it was blown away or something get up on top of it. Completely useless. Just here for decoration, I guess. But yeah. Why is that cobblestone? I guess I need to fix that. Alright. Well, thank you very much for watching. My name is Scotus again. Uh, this is my castles in my land called Brood. Um, if you'd like to check out what kinds of mods I have installed, check out my first video, which is... Uh, Minecraft Scotus Land Sandcastle, and that one is my biggest, well, my, my biggest castle that I've shown you so far, but uh, that one is, in the very beginning I describe all the mods I have installed in, in full detail. Alright, thank you very much for watching, have a great day.